Microwave two minutes. There we go. Ba 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 ba. Notorious Nation, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be doing another review, but it's not going to be a food review. It's going to be a microwave oven review. I was presented with an opportunity to review this brand new to the market microwave oven, and I, I couldn't pass it by because it's a smart microwave oven. Now I know there's been some smart microwave ovens out there in the past, but this one is from Toshiba. Well known, and it's great. It's a huge oven as far as what it can fit inside, but the footprint's not too big. So I like that, I like the look of it. I also was impressed by the size of this, of this plate in here. That's over 12 inches. So um, sometimes you get a really big plate, you wanna microwave it, and then you get it so it can't spin. You know, the, the, it's spinning in there, but it's so big, you just jam it in. So the food just stays stationary. But this can fit the really big plates we have, so I was pretty excited about that. But since it is a smart microwave oven, we're gonna connect it to our Alexa. Let me walk you through that real quick. Once we get the microwave set up, I'm gonna cook some things, give it a try, see how I like it. And I'm gonna have it show you my very own recipe, something I can do really simple when I'm trying to lose weight between eating contests or YouTube videos. This is one of my favorite snacks to eat and it's very low calorie. So let's get this set up and let's get cooking. First you need to go to your app store, locate the M Smart Life app, download and install it. Then go ahead and open it up. Then you wanna add a device. First time coming in, you're gonna to have to sign up for a free account. I already have an account so I'll put my information in now. Then it's add device, ready, your Wi-Fi password, and then manually add. Select microwave oven, and then select the only choice you have available. Hold down the Wi-Fi button on the microwave until it beeps. Select next, and then you'll see the Wi-Fi network on your phone. Just find that network, enter the password that was provided, and you'll get the Connect Success screen. If you click on the microwave, you can see a list of defaults that you can use to control your microwave using the M Smart Life app. I now have this connected to the Smart Life app, so I can do it remotely just using this app. I want to get it connected to Alexa, but just to show you, um, Adam Moran from Beard Meets Food loves baked beans, so we'll do baked beans. Start, we'll see if it turns it on. There it goes. Now let's get this connected to Alexa. So you need to install and open the Alexa app and then go into skills and games. Search for Toshiba iMicrowave and then select that. Then go into settings. And this is where you link to the My Smart Life app using the information you just signed up with. I'm already linked so I'm good to go. So let's test it. I have my Alexa next to me over here. Alexa, microwave one minute. One minute. Stop microwave. Okay. There you go. If you don't have an Alexa device at home like I do, that's right next to the microwave to make, that makes it easy, you don't have to worry about that. You just need the Alexa app, which we already have to get this connected. Microwave one minute. I'm liking this so far. I can get used to this. Alexa, microwave 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So cool. So when I'm outside cooking on the grill, sometimes this would make it a little bit easier for me if I could control the microwave. So let's give it a try. Of course, I don't have an Alexa outside, but I do have the Alexa app on my phone. So, Alexa, microwave potato. How many do you want to cook? Four. Okay, starting now. So here's my recipe. 
that I make, and it, I can eat this multiple times a day if I need to. It fills me up and is very low in calories. So the base of it is cut green beans or French style green beans, some type, some type of green beans. So there's about 52 calories in this container. I'm gonna add peppers, five calories per serving of kept each of these peppers, all three of these peppers. So my favorite peppers are hot banana peppers. Love those. Got jalapeno slices and then uh, pepper, on Sini, um, sure I slaughtered that. Those these peppers help spice it up. Add Texas Pete, and then I'm using Wegman's Albacore tuna. This is six ounces, 140 calories. So it's roughly 222 calories, and this is going to be a lot of food. So what I do is open up the tuna string beans of the hot peppers. Jalapeno peppers, pepper on sini peppers. Take my string beans. I always rinse any of my canned foods, no matter what it is. I'll even rinse the tuna. Hopefully, hopefully it removes some of the salt. So I'll just put that in there like that. Put it in the microwave. Like to cook it for one minute and 37 seconds. Let's test the microwave and see if I can get that done. Alexa, microwave one minute 37 seconds. One minute 37 seconds. Perfect. Get this going. While well, that's cooking, open up. See, I'm doing something while it's cooking over there. I think I saved a lot of time. Now I'll get some Texas peat. Go pretty generous with the Texas peat. Then I use South African Smoke Blend. This is from Trader Joe's. It's paprika flakes, sea salt, garlic, and basil. That's going to be the only salt I add to it, besides because there's salt in all this stuff. Then savory nutritional yeast flakes. There's 60 calories in this, but there's only nine servings per container. So you need to pour a lot on, and I don't use anywhere near that. Now what I like to do is mix it up good. So the important thing for me when I'm trying to lose weight is obviously very little calories, but a bunch of food. This is probably a pound and a half of food here, and it has to have spice. It absolutely has to be spicy. And I might even go so far as to put ghost pepper flakes on it. After I've been doing this for about a week or so, I need to up the spice level. That, in addition to the coldest water. So I'm drinking ice cold water, and eating spicy food. You see this is 225 calories. I might do this two times in a day, maybe three times in a day. Sometimes this is all I eat, or I might mix it up with something, uh, some other types of vegetables, like mixed vegetables. Let's give this a try. Now that is good. Between the heat and the cold, works well. This is the other meal that I love to go to. Love to eat this. I could eat this all the time. It's only 450 calories. It's 45 grams of protein. A couple of vegetables in here. You're not getting much out of the vegetables though. But I put, I use peas and uh, chicken. Both of them canned. Basically the same setup as the green beans and tuna. This is just more calories and more protein. So I got that set up. I'm going to start it remotely, probably in about 15, 20 minutes when it's time for my lunch break. So I've had the, the food in the microwave for probably about 20, 25 minutes now. It's time for my lunch break, but I'm still doing my other job right now. So to save time, I can just go pull up my Alexa app, microwave two minutes. There we go. 
two minutes, my food will be done. So I've been using this microwave for about five days now. And I want to tell you the favorite things I have about the microwave. First, I thought the setup to get the smart part of the microwave was very easy to do. Very simple. I got this connected without any issues. Uh, I think the power on it is very good power. It's 1100 watts and that's great for at home microwave, especially one this size. The size wise inside, you can put a large container in there and it's going to spin freely. It's not like some of those smaller footprint microwaves that you have to put a small plate in there. Now, as far as microwave cooking goes, everything went just like I would expect it to do. Uh, cooked everything as well as I uh, asked it to cook it, as well as the, the programming I tested with popcorn and some different meats. And they seem to be pretty accurate as far as cooking the different types of meats. So I was very pleased with the programming that came with it. Now, the smart microwave, I gotta admit, it was a little bit like how often I'm gonna actually use this, but I did find there's a couple of situations where it really came in handy for me, especially when I'm cooking on the grill, I'm cooking meat on the grill, I can be cooking vegetables inside and trying to time that right, because my grill's pretty far away from my kitchen. I can just talk to my phone and have Alexa start the microwave for me, so that made it really easy. I did like fooling around when I was getting ready in the morning to heat up some water to make some tea, trying to get into drinking tea during this, this shut-in thing. And it has, to be honest with you, it's not going too well, my tea drinking. I much prefer coffee. And I also for my lunches. Uh, I definitely like being able to work right up till my lunch hour started and at the same time having my lunch cooking for me, just with quickly saying, you know, microwave start. So overall, I really like the product. Uh, it's great for a microwave. You know, microwave is one of those things you, you kind of take for granted. But you know, in the, over the week, I've tried this. Very good. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're interested in buying it, it just makes it easier for you. You can look up the specs if you want to know more about it. Um, I'm not getting paid for this review. I'm not getting paid if you click on the link and buy it. So just to be upfront with you, I'm just putting it there if you're interested. But thanks for coming to another one of my reviews, and I'll see you guys again soon.